Hey guys, good morning. My day has been already started. I had to take Elijah to school because he doesn't have a permanent bus driver. So the bus driver is coming at different times and I have to take Maya to school in the morning. So due to all of this, everything is like chaotic for Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm gonna be taking Elijah and Maya to school. Um, so yeah, and they get out early today. Maya has a game. Yeah, I got exactly. stuff to do. I'm trying to go to the gym. I gotta drop something off for Maya. I got a lot of stuff to do. Um, and y'all, guess what happened to me? I'm embarrassed to tell y'all. I fell off the damn bed yesterday. And boy, did that hit me like it ain't nobody's business. My whole left side of my body is killing me. When I say I barely can, and I hit my head, I hit my head, my nose. I had a headache yesterday. It's kind of settling down. It's not as bad. But y'all. Now I know I'm getting old. Because usually if the, if I was young. And it was so crazy. All I did was just turn over to go grab my phone off the um, nightstand. Yeah, this, this is not air conditioner. So guys, it's like several, several, several hours later. Um, I finally got myself together. As you all know, um, my mom sent Elijah his birthday gift. I kind of knew she was going to do this. I was like, she's going to send him. I'm not going to tell y'all because it's his birthday. I'll wait till he sees it. But I kind of knew it. I knew it. And I still didn't take my nail polish off, but at least I washed my hair, y'all. That's the, the biggest thing, me washing my hair. Let me open the door so I can put some fresh air in here. So, guys, I'm on my way to Maya's game. And I'm probably going to edit this vlog and end it. You know, yeah, and things, circumstances have changed in my life a lot, several times, financially. And financially, when you're going through financial circumstances, they can, like, change everything. And, you know, it causes tension between certain situations and things like that. But anyway, I just, like, my whole, like, that's why I told y'all, like, even if, like, I had money or stuff like that, I really can't, I'm not really into holidays. Like, I could care less. You know, because it's just another day. Because once the day is over, you still got to go back to your reality. You still got to pay your bills. You still got to do this. So, I don't know. Y'all probably like, what the hell is she talking about? I'm just talking about, like, right now, I, I'm always going through something. And I try not to show that in my vlog. And sometimes it might come out and sometimes it doesn't. And, like, when I get stressed or something is really not good, going good, or it just... It, it bothers me and I get that anxiety and stuff. It plays a big toll on me. And I, I said to myself, like, this year, you know, I'm going to put it out in the universe. And I'm going to believe in it and know that I will be where I need to be, wherever I need to be. And wherever God's plan is for me and whatever my relationship and communication that I have with God, it will happen. You know, and a lot of times people don't understand it. Like, people just think like you know my life is not perfect and i always say this and i'm not i don't portray it to be perfect and no i'm not the type of person i'm not in the store buying a bunch of stuff and unnecessary things you know because i'm i don't have it like that even if i did I, i've never been like a spender it's a hardship time for um not just me i know there's other people out there that are having hardships i know i'm not the only person um, out there because everybody goes through things so it's not you know it's it's just life you go through these obstacles and you, you get through them and then sometimes you go through them again you can't always prevent you know circumstances I'm not gonna give up because I believe in myself you know and maybe one day another channel maybe I'll get discovered but you never know 
you never know but i'm just gonna put it out there and i'm this is probably gonna be my last day talking about it because i'm not embarrassed about it because i know i ain't the only one out there you know people you know they put on this and yeah, people gonna talk behind my back and talk trash i don't care that's their opinion they ain't in my shoes and they ain't in my life so you know people could say what they want to say about me but i know who i am and i'm true to who i am but at the end of the day i'm just this is my last time talking about this listen i am in a bad situation of finances your girl needs a job every opportunity that i can get to get a job is either a thing with time because i have two children that i am responsible for and i cannot leave my children home by themselves while my husband is at work and to go to a job because if something happens it's their safety at hand and i'm going to get the fault i'm going to go to jail something's going to happen and i cannot afford i love my children to death and i will never want anything and let them see something like that happen and it's not my daughter's responsibility to take care of her brother it's my responsibility and her father and my husband's responsibility to take care of our son and our responsibility to make sure Maya is safe so everything that I'm trying to do is all about time and money and money plays a big factor in um, and I know I'm not the only marriage or relationship that has a financial situation but I'm just the one that's being honest about it and I just don't you know I'm not ashamed of it you know yeah I have to get a job that works is flexible to my schedule and my children and my husband has his schedule and it's not very consistent so it plays a big factor into how am I going to work and when am I going to work and yes I sacrifice for my children because my children need me. And that's just the reality of it. And I'm not going to be ashamed to say that. You know, yeah, it's mothers out here, single mothers and wives and, you know, in marriages. They work and they barely get to see their children. And it's a blessing to be around my children. And I don't care what people have to say. You know, I care about my children. And I love the fact at this moment I can be around them, especially in this time of need. They need me. So, I'm not going to justify that to anybody. And I'm not going to feel bad about it. You know, because I'm my children's protectors. And, you know, sometimes people don't understand it. Men don't understand it. Because men can, you know, they're, op they, you know, yeah, they're supposed to take care of their families and stuff like that. But men, 90% of the time, and I'm going to say 90% of the time, women are left with the children no i'm not talking about my husband but i'm just saying like i have to protect my children in any way i can and you know honestly if i didn't sacrifice not going to work like i did i don't think my children would be as sounded as they are sound-minded as they are today because I already went through the one situation with my son. That was the hardest thing for me to go through. Um, and I'm just being honest. Like, I felt like I went through it to some extent in the beginning by myself. Um, I went through a lot. And I felt alone when I did it. I didn't have a lot of friends supporting me. I didn't have, you know, my mom was a big supporter. Um, my dad somewhat in the beginning he wasn't really supportive because i really didn't tell a lot of people because i was just like i didn't know how to handle it and then you know i started getting a handle of it because things started to go into play and i believe that that's what's going to happen now um and by no means i'm not bashing anybody because everyone has their own life and their own you know their own agenda for what they need to do for themselves and it's not about me but I had to sacrifice for my children. I did. And I still do to this day. And that means I have no money, you know, a lot of times to do things for them. You know, and I don't look at it like, you know, I don't beg anybody or call anybody for help. You know, because a lot of people don't help me. Nobody actually helps. Like, only people that help me are my mother and father. They help us. 
you know, I shouldn't say me, I should say per se my family, they help us, you know, but we don't have any real sounded help down here. Like, it's just us. You know, we have a few people, but, you know, they got their own obligations and responsibilities and, you know, I'm not going to burden them like that because it's not their responsibility and it's nobody's responsibility to take care of your own children it's your responsibility so that's just how i feel i know y'all probably like damn she rambling but y'all know what the hell i'm talking about i'm just being real i got a lot of shit on my plate and a lot of things i think about and i think about over and i talk to god about them and i'm a very vocal person i've you know become very vocal in my adult life about how I feel about things and I ain't gonna never change it because I you know it stopped me in my past and now that I'm older I know I have a voice and people hear me and yeah everything ain't for everybody don't get me wrong because my situation ain't for you you don't have to watch if you don't want to hear my voice keep on moving because I have to stay positive if I stay negative that's gonna bring me in a bad dark cloud and that's not what I want for my life because that's not me I'm a happy person. I have love and joy in my body and, and I have God and spirituality and yeah, my channel is not all about gospel and no, my channel is about being positive, a mother, a woman working hard to try to strive to be something in her life and not ask for people to feel sorry about me and sorry. Just, you know, I I have a story to tell. And, you know, some people that really know me know my story. And, you know, they don't know everything about me. But I've been through a lot of shit, y'all. And I'm 33 years old. I've seen a lot and I've been through a lot. And I carry that on me, you know, and it makes me stronger inside. And it makes me show my daughter, you got to do better. I'm getting emotional, y'all, because it's really just like... I just feel like sometimes, you know, people just don't appreciate that about me, you know, or don't know that about me. And it hurts me because, like, people just, like, they in their own little world and they don't cherish my loyalty and who I really am and my genuineness as a woman, a mother. I'm not dictating to nobody to do what they want. They can do whatever they want to do, but don't don't walk on me and don't talk trash about me. If you got something to say, you could text it down there, comment down below. And, you know, I'm all ears. Y'all, the game started. I'm late. Uh, I ram. I went on a ram with y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this little ram. Um, but I just want, y'all will see. And I believe that I will be in a better place as soon as I know. Sooner than I know. That's what I wanted to say. I will be in a better place sooner than I know. Um, because I was born on this earth to be somebody. I don't know who yet, but guess what? I know I was born on this earth to be somebody and be somebody great. Um, I'm a Capricorn and I'm strong. I'm strong-willed. So, I'm going to go. I'm going to end this vlog on this note. Don't give up. Don't ever give up on yourself and don't let nobody tell you you know, you ain't, you can't do it. And don't let nobody knock your dream because their situation is not what they want it to be or whatever so just keep pushing so anybody out there that's in my situation or similar or not even similar just in a situation where they feel like it's a lot of negative around them and they can't keep moving forward just move forward and block the negativity out and stay positive and believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself nobody else will so i'm gonna leave this on that note i will talk to y'all in the next video and thank you for watching and please subscribe and thanks for all my support you know all the people that actually watch me and support me um I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Yes, I have my sunglasses. Maybe I just take them off because I was. But thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.